Gunswela is a White House maid, and she has just cleaned the Oval Office bathroom. And yet she remembered to change the toilet paper rolls whether or not they looked like they'd been used at all. And she quietly walks out of the bathroom and she's Barack at the Oval Office with a dustbuster torn apart on the Oval Office desk. Yeah, earlier in that day, Perry and Darnell had surprised Barack with an unexpected politically correct photo op. And as often happens at those times, Darnell had run in with a dustbuster. Barack had been in entertaining his white girlfriend, his drug of choice. And Darnell did the meanest thing. He walked in with a dustbuster and vacuumed her up from the Oval Office desk. And Yeah, he's got more white girlfriend on the way. But it's going to take a little while to get there, and he wants to entertain again right now. So he's got the dust buster opened up. And Consuela is, is thinking to herself as she watches him, What's he doing? Maybe he lost something. He's looking through the dust buster to see if it's there. Yes, he's he's leaning a little closer. More closer. What the hell is he doing? And and yes, a couple minutes later, Consuela is leaving the Oval Office with the stories she'll be telling to her kids and her grandkids as Barack sneezes in the background. I'd like to thank those taking part in Barack's dangerous censorship of our phones, mail, and internet here in Santa Monica. I want to thank them for not interrupting my video right now. Thanks, guys. Remember, that's always where my fiction leaves off when you call that number. Can't reach me. And don't know if you reach that number when you need them. And all these nice folks in Santa Monica, you see are taking part in dangerous censorship. Certify your mail to me. And realize that Pitbull project has to be me. Two folks who are threatening you right now. I'm John Milbury.